Good morning everyone, Glenda Mollett here and we're in my craft room this morning doing some mystery stamping. I'm just got to pull my light a little bit closer here. There we go, that's better. Okay, so I have all these pieces cut and we'll see who shows up with me. Just making sure I'm oriented properly. I have this color and I have this color and I have some winky and I have a stamp set. Sneak peek at the stamp set. Okay, not showing the full stamp set yet. Okay, we're live. We're oriented properly. Hopefully people, oh, Diana's here. Yay, somebody's here. All right. I'm just gonna put my lid on my tea so it doesn't spill everywhere. Okay, got my adhesive, got my scissors. I think we're ready to go. There we are. All right, so how was everybody's weekend? Did we enjoy it? I just have to go shut my door, hang on. I have been, it was a very busy weekend for us. Well, let me tell you. Hello, Yvonne. Hubby had his knee surgery on Friday and we came home on Saturday. And, of course, he can't do anything, so nursemaid, cook, yeah, not enjoying this process. But at least he's got pain under control and things are looking up. I'm sure it'll take a while, but that's okay. Now, I told you the supplies. Oh, good morning, Catherine. And what? You went back to work this morning? can't read it all. Where are my comments on my computer? Because I've got my, my phone in the holder and it block, cuts off part of what everybody is saying. Hello, Carol, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's the comments. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to go back to work. Yuck. I agree. So I told you what supplies to create so you can craft along with me. But since then, I'm um, doing my layout, I changed the dimensions of the larger piece of designer paper. I told you three and a half or three and a quarter or something. And it's now at three inches because of the way I want it to lay on my card base. And I already had some circles die cut from another project, so I don't have to die cut. But <coughs> you can use um, a punch. This is about two and a half. Or um, use the circles, dies, or whatever shape you want yours to be in. So I use, there we go, this one here. That's the size I've used. And I don't know whether it's the right size for the stamp set that I chose or not, but that's what it's going to be. And if it's too small, then I will recut it because I have the dies here with me. Oh, good morning, everyone. Yes. So I got my Christmas stuff in last week and haven't even had a chance to play with it yet. So I'm hoping that'll happen today, but I'm busy getting my in color club stuff done. So I chose, I chose, I'll show you in a bit, Daffodil Delight card base, then some Bumblebee designer paper and a piece of Magenta Madness designer paper. And I haven't cut this off yet because I'm gonna put it on first and then flip it over and cut off the excess that way I make sure that it's going to go from side to side. Okay, so I can put 
some adhesive on both sides here. Like that on one and then, oops, oh well, it's there and there on the other one. And then when we put this on, it'll cover that up and all I have to do is put adhesive on the top and the bottom. So how was your weekend? Nobody ever told me. Did you have a good weekend? Were you busy doing stuff? Gardening, crafting, outside in the sunshine? Yeah, we still have winter here where I live. It's not a good thing. It is really quite cold out there. We even contemplated putting... Um, the furnace on again. I know. Furnace in July. We're like the middle of July and this furnace thing is happening. I... It's the weirdest summer I ever remember for coldness. Oh, no Maria, no Zoom on Monday. It's just here on Facebook. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so I'm just putting adhesive on the two pieces of designer paper that are going to go on here, and I should have done it this way first. Put it on there so that I know where the... how far over to make sure the adhesive goes. There we go. Zoom is on Thursday. Facebook Live is on Friday. You don't need to see my ugly mug two days in each week. Okay, so let's just see now where we're going to put. I want them to be equal here and here. And that's why I cut it down to three inches so that we would have a nice Order at the top and the bottom and I'm just going to mark it so I know where to put the bottom one on come on oh it's gonna be one of those day oh cool does not when I woke up this morning it was 12 degrees and that was at like 7 30 it wasn't even at some ungodly hour of the morning it's awful. I tell you, it's awful. I go outside with a winter jacket on. Last year at this time, well, we were. We were in Greece. No, we were in Italy last year at this time. Our, our European adventure had already started. And it was so blessedly hot. And this, they, those pictures keep showing up on my, on my Facebook feed how hot it was over there. Okay, so now I'm just using my grid paper to line it up and make sure it's straight. And we'll just pull off the liner. Ouch. That stuff's sticky. There, now I'm going to turn it around just to make it easier to attach. Yeah, the peas are loving it. They're like seven feet high. We went to we went away on Friday for the surgery. When I got back, my peas were all all leaning over. So I had to go and build a trellisy thing for that. And then I went outside yesterday. I'm just lining this up. I went outside yesterday and my tomato plant was all leaning over. So I had to stake it up. There we go. So there's our front. Two pieces of cardstock. This goes to show you that you can have two different colors. You don't have to have the same colors on both sides. This is going to be a really fun non-floral card for those of you out there that are tired of flowers. I uh, got this new stamp set and I hadn't, when I opened it up this morning to get the stamps out, I hadn't even put the stickers on them yet. So I'm going to show you that, that trick that I um, shared a video for on Thursday. 
the trick to put your mount the labels onto your rubber stamps. I'll do that for you today so you can see it up close and personal. There we are. Now, put these to the side because those are leftovers and I can use them for something else. Isn't that pretty? What a fun... This is such a fun card. I love it. Okay. Is anybody crafting? Oh, wow. Swimming. Okay, we'd have to get out an ice pick to go swimming where I live. Is anybody crafting along with me? So there's the, the vellum piece. That is three and three quarters square and I'm just going to put some adhesive in the center of it because that's where we're going to cover it up with the stamped image I hope the stamp this will be big enough yep. oh good Diana love to see your project when we're done okay take the liners off of those the um the vellum sometimes is difficult to figure out where to put your adhesive. So always put it underneath something. And if you can't, then put an embellishment on top because it always shows. The adhesive always shows through. There we go. Okay, so this one's going to go over top, but I have to stamp it first. So, oh, I didn't get this, the string. It's okay. Let's stamp the sentiment and I think I'll do that in bumblebee oh good Evelyn I'm glad you could join me okay happy birthday stamped in bumblebee pardon my head I can't see to get it lined up Oh, it's crooked. Ah. Okay, you're going to have to just pardon my head for a sec. Oh, that one's crooked too, but it'll do. Okay, put the bumblebee. Ah, yes. Work. I'm sorry, Catherine. Okay, so then we're going to snip that and make it even. Oops. Right about there. Now this has to have dimensionals on it, but only on one side because the circle is going to be popped up and this is going to be sitting on the circle. So I just need to put a piece. I had to find the pieces because it's <laughs> got a little tiny chunk of dimensional left. All right. So that's going to go on the H side of happy birthday. Okay, that's done. Now I need to get some twine. Oh, of course. And the inspiration card has a twine that I don't have. So let's see what can we use. Oh, maybe some bumblebee gingham. That might be cool. This is the new gingham bumblebee ribbon. You see it? Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's going to look so cute. Okay, and I'm just tying a bow. Yeah, my dentist, I was supposed to go on, I don't know, June the 3rd or something was my appointment that I scheduled like a year ago. And they phoned and they said that they were opening up and would I like to keep my appointment? And I said, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll wait. There's nothing wrong with my teeth. It was just an annual thing, a cleaning. So I declined and said, give it to somebody who needs it more than I do. Okay, there's my bow. What a cute bow. Oh, why do I keep talking in that weird voice? It's bizarre. You'll have to show me your card, Maria. Can't wait to see what you're crafting. You always come up with the coolest things. 
Are you using lemons today? Okay. Get the scissors out of the way. So are you ready for the big reveal of what cards, what stamp set I'm using? Okay, ready? Here it comes. Zany zebras. Aren't they cute? I love this set. I absolutely love this set. So I'm going to use this one on the front. And I'm going to put this one in the back and then I'm going to put that on the back. Uh, sorry, on the inside and then we'll put a uh, party hat on. But I want to show you how to attach the labels. So here's this dude and he's got no label on there. I've already done the other two images. So you take your label and pop it out of the, the sheet. And then I always trim around the outside because I don't like having my label hanging over the edge of my stamp set. Mind you, with doing it this way, you probably will get it right on and that's not an issue. But once I start something, I don't tend to change it. I'm a creature of habit. And it only takes a second to cut around the outside. Just make sure you don't cut off any important parts on the, the label so you know where everything is. So I do this to all of my rubber stamps. Every single one that I have has been done like this. Back in the day before we had these um, cling stamps, I used to do it because it left an eighth of an inch all the way around the outside to stick to the block. Okay, so I've got it trimmed and this is the side that would normally stick to your block anyways. So you just put it on your block like that. Then, yeah, I know, <laughs> Zany Zebra is so fun. Okay, so we're going to lift the liner off. And I, you can use your fingernails. I just find it a lot easier with the pokey tool because then you can get in there. Then put your stamp down on your table. Turn the block over. So the, the label's applied to this side of the block. So turn your block over and just line it up. I'm still holding it above the stamp. I haven't let it go down near the stamp yet. This just lets you line. Okay, if I get my hand out of the way, you might be able to see it better. Just lets you line your stamp up so you get your sticker right in the middle like that. And then rub your fingers over top and off it comes. And look at that perfect placement every single time. So there you go. You're welcome. That's your tip for the day. Now I need to kick up your heels because I forgot to do that one. I guess it helps if I get the stamp too. All right, get that out of the way. Oh, uh oh, it's stuck to the table. So hopefully this little um, non-musical interlude has helped you get caught up in your card. There we go. And we'll just get rid of that extra little piece. Put it down on the block, pull up the liner, oops, make sure the stamp is the right way up, line it up, and you know how difficult it is with these little tiny ones, look at that, look at how easy it is, done, 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 okay. So I'm going to use that on the inside. Okay, let's get our circle out and we'll get this cute little thing. Let's see. Oh, look how perfect. Fits in there like it was made for it. Okay, just cleaning up my mess here because I need to find the magenta madness. Thanks, Karen. I hope it helps because, man, I struggle so much getting those things on. And the new ones, 
of course, once they hit the rubber, there's no turning back. Because if you try to um, rip the, pull the label off, you rip all the foam off. And yeah, it's not a good thing. Okay, so I'm stamping this cute little zebra in magenta madness onto a two and a half inch whisper white circle. Now, now comes the magic. Wink of Stella. I haven't tried this before. I have no idea if this is going to... Oh, look at that. We get a cute little pink zebra. Oh my god, that is so cool. And it just softens it a bit. Oh, uh -huh. And you should see the sparkle. Oh, I wish you could see the sparkle. Let me tell you, it is truly sparkly. I kind of hope that this was going to be the case with this, this color because it's so intense that it's going to manipulate nice, and it does. Just reactivates and... By doing this, you get natural highlights and lowlights too because where you're closest to the ink you're going to get color and when you're furthest away from the ink okay, I think I'll put some on that ear it's too white and can't forget the tail <laughs> I love it okay now I need my dirty paper because I have to get the pink off of the tip of my Wink of Stella. There we go. It might be going to Maggie. Yesterday, Maggie had her one month birthday. She's so cute. She's coming for a visit too at the end of July. I'm only slightly ecstatic. Well, she's bringing her parents too. And Blake. So as long as Blake and Maggie come, that's the important part, right? I can't wait. Okay. Dimensionals on the zebra. This is a really quick layout, this card. I'll show you where I got my inspiration from. Okay, so I'm casing. I'm going to move it a little bit over to the side because of the bow and the sentiment that are going to stick out there. There we go. Now where's my happy birthday? Happy birthday is going to go right about there, I think. I don't want to cut off her tail. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on the this part that's going to go over top of the zebra and then we'll just put that right there oh I forgot to put the rib the bow on oh well should have gone underneath there Let's see if I can do it There. Maybe. There maybe. There maybe. Okay, it'll go right there. <laughs> it does, Karen. Why reinvent the wheel if it's already been created? And sometimes it gets your juices flowing too, you know, you, you case or you get inspired by something and you make that card and then you think, well, I wonder what it would look if we did such and such. And there you go. You're off and running with your own creations. There we are. Now we have to make a party hat. Because the party hat 
is included in the stamp set and it's so cute. So just stamping it in Memento. And then I'm going to get Daffodil Delight and Magenta Madness, Dark Daffodil Delight, and Light Magenta Madness. And we'll just color this in. Then hand cut, because of course with this stamp set there is no and puts a little bit of color on the pom-pom. There's no dies with this stamp set. Ouch! Oh, that was my finger. You didn't hear it, but it severely cracked. I hope you didn't hear it. Oh, what a fun card. So more p color on the, on the hat. Can you see the hat? Ooh, that cute. Hey, Wendy Reese. How are you doing? Okay, so we're going to um, die cut this hat and I'm going to cut right as close as I can to the black stamping line. Then of course when we go around the pom-pom it's just going to have to be as close as I can to the, the lines that are in the pom-pom. Okay. Die cut or fussy cutting little itty bitty pieces sometimes can be not so forgiving because they're tough to hold on to and cut and keep your fingers out of the way at all at the same time. There, turn it. And there we are. Now, I'm going to take my black marker and we're going to go around the outside of the hat part, not the, not the pom-pom, just the hat, because that will cover any little bits of white I've left behind. Just like that. There we go. One hat. Now. Look at that. That is that like, cute? Oh my god. Okay, I'll have to change that sentiment if I decide to send it to Maggie. Where did I put the stamp set? Oh, I know. Back here. Let's see what other sentiments come in this one. Why all oh, should have used this one? Wild about you. Okay, I'll be changing that. Now we need just a little bit of Tombow on the bottom of the hat to attach it to the head. And then we should see if we can find some funky, colorful sequins or something to put on. Okay, this glue is not coming out, and I know that it, when it does, it's going to come out in a big blob. Okay, that'll do. And we'll just put it on the head on, at a jaunty angle. <laughs> How adorable. Okay, now let's change this. I need another piece of Worcester White. And just cut it at 5 eight. Um, the zebra, yes. The circle is popped. 
Maria, it is. Okay, let's get out that other sentiment. Wild about you. Okay, make sure it's the right way up. And find my bumblebee ink. Oh, that cardstock, is, oops, it's too big. I need to make it smaller. I just got ink on the side of my stamp block. Okay. Now we'll just cut that off. Cut a bit off the other side. Oh, I cut it crooked. Look at that. Little trimmy trimmy. And put a dimensional piece on one end, the on the W end. I'll take this one off. Okay, this one is much smaller than the happy birthday, which is a good thing because it's not going to cover up as much of the zebra as the other one did. So I'm going to have to do this card in blue too, so I can send one up to the grandson, because I don't want to send one without sending the other one, because he needs to be told he's just as important as he has always been. Now, let's see what we can stick in there. Playing with patterns and thoughts. These, the yellow ones would work. Well, I haven't even tried these yet. I just got them. So use this one down there. And I'll use a little bit bigger one over here. And then a little one, I think. Up there. I can always get two of them, and then the third one is a little bit there. We are playing with patterns dots. Nice. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's do the inside. I want to put this cute little one on the inside, and we'll make that magenta madness as well. So get this dirty paper out just in case I want to stamp partially off. So magenta madness. And we'll just stamp that right there. And we'll stamp the envelope while we're at it. I love how quick this card comes together and it's so cute. You know, I'm just looking at this and I, I'm thinking that I need to make the dots in a different spot because um, it's too, it's not random enough. Too equal. This one needs to go somewhere else. There. That one will go there. That's better. You gotta make it a little bit lopsided. Otherwise everything gets too 
I don't know what the word is, to, to equal. You still have to have three to make it pleasing to the eye, but they also, they also can't be in a line unless you want to do like one, two, three along the edge. That would work too. That would work too, wouldn't it? One, one, two, three along there. Anyway, I'm not touching it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to put this on the inside. And you notice I haven't sponged today. I'll put that on the inside. I love these bright, cheery colors. So now that I'm having my in-person classes again, I'm, I am having to go in and make sure I've got all the protocols in place that are required by WorkSafe BC and Government of Canada. Even though I'm not an employer, I still have to have safety precautions in place so that people don't come and get sick. I don't want people going home and then getting sick. And I don't want it spreading in my studio or my craft room either. That's the last thing Ted needs right now. Okay. I left this too long and it's not reactivating like the front one did when I did it right away. So just be warned when you stamp this, you might want to winky it right away. So it's not getting quite as pink. That's okay. It's still sparkly. And that's what matters. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm not going to wink with Stella the, the envelope, though. But I will remember to put my stamp on the back. Look at that, 45 minutes and we're done. The card. And this is such a cool card to make multiples of. Now, do you want to see where I got the inspiration from? I love that. Oh, but you know what I didn't do? I didn't put something on that hat. So let's take the crystal effects and let's put some crystal effects on the hat. That'll really make it stand out because this stuff is goes shiny, goes dimensional, and it has glitter in it. have to work it so that you make sure you get enough on there because it will collapse a bit when it dries but you don't want too much there we are oh my gosh that is so adorable <laughs> oh, Maria, you're funny. <laughs> I'm glad I'm sitting down. I never, it never ever would have thought you would be asking for blue stuff. Yes, Yvonne, really cute. And you know, you don't have to be a kid to get a happy birthday card like that. It just means you're young at heart and everybody needs a little bit of funness. Is that a word? It is now. A little bit of funness in our life. Karen, they go really quick. And you could make any you could make any color combination. I just Oh, I was gonna show you where I got it. So page one oh five of the annual catalog. There we go. 
there's the card. And I did not change much. I haven't got this ribbon yet. I know, that's the Playful Pets one. And it's out of stock at the moment. And I haven't gotten it. But pretty much other than that, it's the same card. I love the catalog for that. I really want to see if I can get this Wade Goat stamp set too. Because those, <laughs> I love those goats. They're cute. Okay, so I just used the in-color um, designer paper. So, of course, there's Misty Moonlight and Magenta Madness and Cinnamon Cider and Bumblebee and Just Jade. So I'll make one, probably Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight for Blake. Exactly. Well, not exactly the same. There's different images I can use. So there we go. I have to be careful now. I can't touch that because it'll be... It won't be dry yet. So how have you doing? Have you guys got your cards done? Diana and Maria? I was taking a drink of tea. Because once I'm done here, I have to go back to... <clears throat> Nurse Glenda again. So I might as well enjoy my tea while I can. So there we go. New stuff. Oh, new stuff. New stuff. Yep. So, there's a new set of dies. I haven't even got the names printed out yet. Look at these dies coming up in the holiday catalog. These are called celebration label dies. Look at them. Look at how big this is. So there's the typical card front. This is bigger than a card front. So wouldn't it be cool to cut one, fold it in half, and make a little flappy thing? Wouldn't that be nice? And then put it on your card this way and have an opening. Like you could use that, that and... Okay, hang on. Let's die cut something. And see. What color should I die cut? Um, could be a Christmas card. Let's do Night of Navy. Just because that's the color that caught my eye. Okay, I'm going to see what color, what size this needs to be. It needs to be three and a half by five. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out. The bottom half of. Oh, that was wrong. Hello, numbskull. Holy moly, Aunt Jemima. Okay. I'm just cutting a five inch strip now. Because I have to cut the whole thing out if we're going to fold it in half. So hang in there. I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine. And we'll see what it turns out like. Because this is a really big die. It'll be perfect for making scrapbooks and stuff. But what about folding it over? Okay, there's the card base. Oh, I stuck my finger in the hat. Shoot, I'm going to have to redo that now. And I got it everywhere. Okay, that was my blonde list coming out. So I'm going to put the die back. Not that I would lose that one. So I would take my scoreboard. Okay, let's move Mr. Zebra out of the way. Take the scoreboard, stick it on here, get this lined up in the center. Okay, it's 
Now I'll put it here so I can make sure that I get the top and the bottom in the right spot. See, I've taken a pencil and marked that. And then just score down the center like that. And then fold it over. Oops, wrong way. Good side out. Just make a cool gift card holder too. And then see, you could put it on here, have some funky designer paper in the background and have it opening like that. Is that ever awesome? Okay, you guys probably think I'm absolutely nuts so bananas, but you know me. Oh, and another thing I wanted to show you. Okay, this will become a card eventually at some point. I wanted to show you the new foam sheets. Now you think, what the heck do I need foam sheets for? Well, let me tell you. If you put one of these babies, some of this stuff, onto your cardstock and then die cut it, and it all cuts together. Now, my question is, do I have to put... Do I have to put it on the paper first, or do I die cut first? And I don't know the answer to that. But it's got a liner on both sides, and it's got dimensional sheet stuff in the middle. So, let me see what have I got here. I don't want to do a circle, because that would kind of defeat the whole purpose, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is another another new die set and it's got a candy cane in it. Let's try this one. Okay, so I'm going to cut out a piece of this. Like that. And I don't know whether this is going to work. This is an experiment because I have not done this yet. See if it will cut through all of that or if I need to cut it first and then put it on. So let's see what it's going to do. I'll probably really create some big mess here, but let's see. Oh, look at this. It cut the whole thing out. So now I've got I've got a candy cane that's got dimensional on it. Holy Aunt Jemima. That is incredible. Okay, so this candy cane also has the stripey part. So I'm going to cut the stripey part out. Now if I put a piece of adhesive or sheet um what's this called adhesive sheet i put a piece on there that piece was too thick so i'm just searching for a thinner thinner hunk here we are get off of course now it's not wanting to come off if we put adhesive sheet on Now cut this out where the adhesive sheet is. Look at how easy these candy canes are going to be. I hope you don't. I hope you don't mind me doing this kind of creative thinking while you're hanging around on my internet. And of course, it came completely out of the die because the new dies do that. Now I'm just going to get the pieces out of the die. Those are the, the ones that the sticky would come off. And I don't want them sticking to stuff. Of course, now I can't get them off my fingers. Get off. Okay. Uh-oh. OK. 
Okay, that's weird. Why would they do that? Why would they have one going one way and one going the other way? Huh. I thought that this would match that, but apparently it doesn't. Well, so much for that idea, huh? Okay, where's my red? I'm going to try something. done the die cut again and you have to turn it upside down to get it to match okay I don't like that I don't like showing the back so I'm gonna have to look into that maybe I got a defective set of dies except it see it doesn't even match it matches some of these I can't wait to play with this die set it's kind of cool Hey, that's just weird. All right. So you still hanging in with me? I'm done. I think we're done. I'd love to see the projects that you have created while you worked along with me. Send them to me or post them in the, the comments. I'm still impressed by this, though, cutting right through that foam and cardstock and everything. And now you just... Pull the liner off and then you stick it onto stick it onto your card base and you're done. Uh, okay, Christmas is happening sooner than I want it to be. All right, ladies, I think it's time to say goodbye. Get some stuff done. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any questions or comments, send me a message, send me an email, call, phone me. And if you're wanting the Zany Zebra stamp set, I can make that happen for you. And Maria will discuss your blues. <laughs> Okay, ladies, thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stamp and smiles and bye for now.